Commander, an incoming transmission from the Chancellor. Give it here, soldier. Commander Cody, the time has come. Execute Order 66. Yes, my lord, replies Cody. But after the transmission ends, his head feels fuzzy. Order 66, he mutters. I must kill the Jedi. Wait, that cannot be right. We fight alongside the Jedi. Commander, what should we do? He's getting away, yells one of his troopers. He stumbles side to side, quickly losing vision. The same trooper yells, blast him, and fires at Kenobi, causing him to fall off the cliff into the water. All of the clones cheer, except Cody. He is beyond confused. He doesn't know what's going on. Why have my troopers just shot down the general? The troopers, believing Kenobi is dead, return to the matter at hand, the Battle of Utapau. But all Cody can think of is Obi-Wan. Cody orders his forces to advance forward. While he makes a dart for the closest speeder, he turns the speeder on and heads for exactly where Kenobi landed. He travels around the cave system where Kenobi fell and spots him emerging from the water. Kenobi, he yells. He jumps up onto a rock and ignites his blade. Stay back, he yells. Why did our troopers fire at me? I... I don't know, says Cody. I received a transmission from the Chancellor telling me to execute Order 66 and then my brain went fuzzy. The next thing I knew, you were falling. That doesn't make any sense, Kenobi said. I know, I know, but right now it's not safe. My troops think you died from the fall, but the second they see you, they'll come after you, says Cody. Why are you different? Why didn't you kill me, says Kenobi. I don't know. I felt compelled to at first, but that thought quickly subsided. We need to escape before any of my troopers spot you. They both travel on Cody's speeder to the closest ship so they can find and leave Utapau. After they just leave the atmosphere, Kenobi attempts to contact someone, anyone, but has no luck. A few seconds later, Bail Organa shows up on the screen. Master Kenobi, he says. Senator Organa, my clone troopers turned on me. I need help. We have just rescued Master Yoda, says Bail. It appears this ambush has happened everywhere. I am sending you my coordinates. Kenobi and Cody arrive on Bail's ship. Yoda and Bail are stunned when they see Cody. Why have you brought him here? Hasn't he tried to kill you, says Bail? No, Cody is unaffected and didn't attack me. Do we know why the clones attacked the Jedi? Unsure we are. It appears that the Chancellor has taken over the Senate, says Yoda. What did you say about how you felt back on Utapau Cody, says Kenobi? My head was aching and I felt dizzy, he replies. That's it, says Kenobi. Master, do you remember clone troopers Tup and Fives, who claimed the clones had an inhibitor chip that can make them do anything, even kill the Jedi? Activated the inhibitor chips Palpatine has, says Yoda. Is there any way to inactivate them? Yoda scratches his chin. Connected, all beings are, including the clones. Now that we have Cody and his chip, there is a way to link all of the troopers and their chips. Requires a lot of force energy, however. Do you know of any such place that's strong enough in the force to allow us to try this master? A virgins in the light side of the force, underneath the Jedi temple there is, only known to the high members on the council. That is where we must go. However, su survive this, the mind of a clone cannot. Die you will, Cody, if we attempt this. There must be another way, says Kenobi. There is no time. I will do it for my brothers, Cody says. They receive a transmission from Amida, summoning Organa to the Senate chambers. They set off for Coruscant, and Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Cody branch off from Bail and head towards the temple. At the Senate chambers, Palpatine is overcome with joy, but he cannot help sense a plot to destroy him. He stumbles in his seat, images covering his vision as his mind goes blank. He sees Kenobi, Yoda, and Cody 
opening a light side vergence on the force and use its power to turn the clones back on their side. He wakes on the floor. What was that? He mutters under his breath. A force vision? The future? That cannot be. Mas Amida, postpone the Senate meeting. I have something to deal with first. Yoda, Cody, and Kenobi reach, reach the temple with little resistance. There are a few clones guarding the outside, but they are easily disposed of. They enter the temple. This way, Yoda commands. They travel down an elevator to the bottom floor, where Yoda has to key in a special password. They enter a huge underground room, with a very large spire in the center. They walk up to it. The force you must use Kenobi. Cody is moved to the top of the spider, and Kenobi and Yoda put their hand out. How long will this, will this take, Master? A few minutes only, Yoda replies. One minute into the ritual, they hear the roof crashing down on them, dust flying everywhere. Emerging from the dust, Sidious, with his hand out, lightning flickering from his fingertips. Did you really think you could stop me? As he sends light, cracking from his fingers towards the Jedi, who jump out of the way and ignite their blades. Sidious pulls two blades from his cloak, brands the floor with their energy, and jumps towards the Jedi. The three exchange blows, Yoda and Sidious being equally matched with Obi-Wan being a little slower. Yoda force pushes Sidious back. Strong you are Sidious. At an end your reign is. You cannot stop me. Darth Vader will become more powerful than we can imagine. Palpatine notices the puzzled look on their faces. You do not know. He begins crackling hysterically. My new apprentice, Lord Vader. Storm the Jedi Temple and wiped out hundreds of Jedi. He is none other than the former Anakin Skywalker. Yoda and Kenobi's eyes open wide. You lie, yells Kenobi. You know it's true, Kenobi. Search your feelings, Sidious replies. Noticing the moment of weakness in Kenobi, Sidious makes a move for him, but Yoda intervenes to block the strike. Kenobi feels a rush of anger of despair run through him. I cannot let these emotions control me, he mutters under his breath. He joins Yoda in combat with Sidious, who planned to, whose plan to get Kenobi out of the fight had failed. The fighting continues. For a brief moment, Sidious deactivates one blade and goes to produce force lightning. Yoda notices this and jumps onto his shoulder and quickly holds his arm in place. Kenobi senses what his master is trying, and brings his blade down quickly, taking off one of Sidious' arms. He screams in agony. His rage only intensifies, but his next strike at Kenobi is sloppy. Kenobi dodges, and Yoda behind him takes off the other arm. Kenobi pulls him close with the force. No, Kenobi, Yoda yells, but it's too late. Obi-Wan pierces Sidious through the chest and watches the light leave the color of his eyes. Yoda lowers his head, be it so. They return to the ritual, and Kenobi looks up at Cody one last time. Are you sure about this? Yes, General, for my brothers, he replies. Yoda and Kenobi finish the ritual. Kenobi cannot look up. The screams of Cody are too much. The ritual ends, and they bring Cody's bodies down. Remember him, we must. A special burial. Kenobi nods to Yoda in response. Yoda looks up at Kenobi. Deal with Skywalker, we must. Let me know if you guys want a part two. Please leave a like on today's video, and thanks for watching.